everybody, it's Jen. Welcome to the guts part one, which is what I'm calling the inside of my October daily. So I wanted to put this funny picture of Reuben on the inside front cover. He was laying in bed on his back and his face is all smushed and he just, he looks hilarious. So I wanted to include that uh, on the inside front cover, like I had said. So I just used a piece of orange polka dot paper from the After Dark crepe paper collection so that you could see that like so the picture popped more on the black 3x4 card and of course I had adhered that rosette down before thinking I was going to put a picture there so I had to kind of tear it up a little bit and then cut the corner of the picture but it turned out okay. So this is one of the tags from Recollections and it is a bit silky so I am going to use stays on ink and a Simon Says stamp the tilted banners, this little hello uh, to put um, on that little flag and I'm going to cut it in half and then stick it at the top here under the rosette. So I'm just still kind of deciding on placement. I really didn't want to be able to see any of this back page from the front and I love this little die cut. It's from an old paper pad that I had. And I wanted to use it as a square, but it just wasn't going to work. It says Little Monster, which this little kitty of mine definitely is. So I decided to cut it down and make it more like a little tab or a banner. And then I want to back it with this uh, white, orange, and black stripe washi from American Crafts that I just got. So I'm going to commit... I'm going to adhere this down and I'm going to adhere it really well because it's not in a pocket page and I don't want it to lift up. So I'm going to get that in place. I'm going to put that little banner, like I said, up at the top. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to come back here and put the washi down. And uh, I just, I wanted it to kind of look like it was just kind of hanging out on the page. Like it had sort of been torn and was just at the bottom left hand corner there so that's kind of grounding the die cut and then you can see I just tested the stamp hello on the back of that so that's a good way like if you just want to make sure your images are going to come out crisp just use something that you know you're already have out on your desk you can't see through it so this is an Amy Chan die cut and I used that vinyl uh, black paper from the Recollections paper pad. And just really simple. I think I did go back at the end, yeah, see, so I'm checking to make sure you can't see anything. I did go back after I filmed and um, I added some rhinestone black hearts. So this is a Project Life card and I'm just using that stamp set to write the month of October and then I'm using my Project Life roller date stamp to just put 2015 and I'm going to hand write in the dates. So I want to use this as like a month overview and so I grab my Lawn Fawn stamp set here and I'm going to use the Pilgrim hat for the 12th of October that is Canadian Thanksgiving and then I'm going to use the little um, pumpkin kind of candy Thing, holder for uh, Halloween and then I'm going to use a birthday present on the 19th because it's my dad's birthday so I used stays on because it was on my desk but it didn't leave a crisp image so I did go back and just fill it in with a marker and this is kind of like a work in progress this page so I'll come back to it throughout the month so this is my first kind of entry I guess and I really didn't want to see much of it through that front acrylic page. Uh, so this is a picture of I had a tea and a my first pumpkin spice muffin of the season which really is like my favorite part of fall. I don't even like fall or winter. I am a warm weather girl so I think it's kind of funny that I'm doing this um, fall slash October daily but um, yeah so I'm using this Fisker's Punch label dye and I just wrote exactly what I said. Uh, my favorite thing about fall is pumpkin spice muffins. So I just really wanted to document that. This one is pretty plain and simple. I used this Amy Tan banner die cut in the black glitter paper from the Recollections pad and I just backed it with some gray uh, paper from the Pebbles uh, 31 line that I'm using. 
and then just stuck this down. I ended up using a smaller tab die. Um, you won't see it, but underneath the orange one, and I just put the date stamp of October 1st. And then I'm using these old Recollections black rhinestone hearts here. Yeah, I knew I put something else on the picture of Reuben, but it wouldn't have been the black rhinestone hearts because I'm using it on this one. So I don't remember now, but I did go back. I think I just put a glitter black heart on there. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're doing a December, not a December, October daily, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.